Behind me is the Pont de Silte Aqueduct on the Langotville Canal. I'm stood at the Trevor Basin end. Ten years in the building and planning of this incredible feat of engineering, Thomas Telford took original plans and modified them somewhat. The originals involved a series of locks at either end, perhaps half a dozen or so. So you would go down a series of locks, along a shorter aqueduct, and an upper series of locks to join the basin at this end. Thomas Delford decided he would do it full length. So he built at the far end 1,500 feet of canal on the top of an embankment. The embankment was built from excavations taken from the Chirk aqueduct and tunnels further down the canal. The aqueduct itself is 1,007 feet long, is 126 feet high over the river. There are 19 stone-built piers. Those that are tall enough, or over 70 feet, are hollow at the top to prevent too much weight on the bases and also to allow for inspection of build as they reach the higher end. And then spanning that are 18 iron arches, each one 40 feet long and 11 foot 10 inches wide. The iron trough, two inches thick, spans that full 11 foot 10 inches. Just over four feet is covered towpath and the water flows beneath that. This allows when a boat comes down through the canal trough for the water to displace easily and allow a nice easy progression through the aqueduct. Absolutely tip-top engineering from Thomas Telford. And in 1805, November the 26th at 2 p.m. to great fanfare and crowds of 8,000 people down in the valley and at either end, a procession of boats crossed the canal, bedecked in flags with brass bands playing, cannons firing a 16-gun salute as they came across. Absolutely incredible sight it must have been. Once they got across to this end, which is Trevor Basin, they stopped for some light refreshments. I would imagine it was cold food back then as there were pubs not doing hot food. And the return journey, they were joined by two cargo-laden coal barges, also bedecked in flags, to be the first cargo-carrying vessels to cross the canal and the Pont de Silte aqueduct. What a sight that must have been. Absolutely incredible. 